10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Check, lady. Let's go, let's go double count right here, double count. They'll run with Penny. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. This complete to Lockett. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Wilson to lock it there for the Seahawk first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the run, it's Penny. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now it's Wilson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Throwing is Wilson. Shifts by him. He gets it to his running back, Rashad Penny. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. A big play that time for the Seahawks. And even 40 yards. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. They go back to the ground now with Penny. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Rashad Penny with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Seahawks are going to retake the lead. Now Myers for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Three, 
We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Throwing again on second down. Watson, he goes full extension, and he's got it. Hey, did you have one of those backyards that you had one of those, like, mats or pits like you have for high jumpers and you know you had your friends throw the ball and you tried to make the spectacular catches i didn't need a mat <laughs> you, you just did it with the ground absolutely that explains your toughness. that explains your toughness right there because i think that guy was raised just like you what a catch and he is down deep into seattle territory a big time play there for the texans and even 50 yards on the ground First down, Houston. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now it's Miller. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits, and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And he is going to lose yardage here. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. Certainly not what the offense wanted down here, going in the wrong direction. Yeah, well, look who got involved. I mean, when you get a strong safety who can drop into the box, never needs an invitation to be one of those guys in run defense, does he? Wakes up every morning just a little bit ticked off. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something that feels somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Roby. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Credit the sack to Shaquem Griffin. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. And he's going to go down again. Following the sack, it's now third and long for Watson and the Texans. Third and long, it's Watson. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. They're going for it. It's Watson. He's going to float this over the middle deep. 
And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. I got you, Pop. Check three, check three. This is Penny. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. They keep it with Penny on first down. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll try the right side here with Penny. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone, and in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now, no question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. Extra point up and through by Myers, and the lead is up to eight. For the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave a great field position, turned it to six points up. They've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And now the throw going to Fuller, and he's got it. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now a first down throw. Watson buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. From the gun, here's Watson. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 23. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. First and ten, Watson flush to his right. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it, and the reach. 